Hello YouTube, Dead Green Lightning. With that with uh, Hippodrones on his Tuareg, Pezza on his CT, and uh, I think this guy's name's Andy. Uh, no, Andrew, no, Alan, I'll get it right in the end. Alan, on a CRF uh, 250 Rally. So we are over in East Sussex, we're gonna do some East Sussex stuff today. Starting out here at a place called Beddingham, and uh, the first lane is one that uh, I found out about from one of Svengali's videos. It, I can't remember if it was either one of his videos or it was from uh, his website uh, the, with all the green lanes and stuff on. I can't quite remember. But it's called the Old Coach Road. And Pete's left his indicator on. Classic. Okay, straight into it. You may have noticed new helmet, which uh, I'm quite happy with. I probably I was, I was in two minds whether to uh, bring it out today or not because it is new. Uh, but this is actually going to be my main helmet, my main road helmet as well. Um, I needed to replace my off-road helmet because that was well overdue. Um, but uh, things happened, and I ended up going. I ended up going for this instead. Uh, because this is a <laughs> because this is a pricey helmet, I wasn't going to spend that sort of money on just an off-road helmet. So that's how my weird logic works. Anyway, this is a bit overgrown. <laughs> I probably am going to scratch this helmet up today. <laughs> route I think. I've not gone down. Not gone down, I just couldn't get out of the rut. There we go. I managed to hold it. And now I'm knackered. Yeah, not, none of us have done, I don't think any of us have done this one, this one before. Oh, it's a bit muddy. Okay, this is a bit friendlier. <laughs> certainly a nice day for it. I think it is. It's supposed to rain later, but uh, we'll see. Another lane leading to a brewery. I don't know why those two have stopped. <laughs> Do they know something we don't? I'm just foolishly following the man with the sat nav. <laughs> don't know why they stopped. I don't think they're believing me. <laughs> I'm just following the man with the sat nav. <laughs> oh, great. <laughs> Hello. So yeah, one sat nav it doesn't, doesn't work off road, and the other one doesn't track as you're moving along. So yeah, he's got two, but they both don't work. <laughs> I mean, oh, this kind of looks familiar from when I've tried to look at this from Google Maps. This has got to be a byway. Awesome.
Oh, big puddle. <laughs> Bit early for getting wet, but at least it's uh, warm and dry. We'll be fine. Yeah, this stuff so far was nice and easy going. It was just that first little bit that was a bit of a challenge through that uh, overgrown, rutty lane. Narrow lane. <laughs> Big splash. Yeah, this bit, this time of year, normal road tyres, you'd be fine. On a big, big bike, no problem. Kind of looks like this has been recently, or recently-ish, graded, doesn't it? Well, looks, it just looks a bit fresh. Not really complaining, because, say, we're uh, surrounded by beautiful scenery. This would be a good shot with a 360 camera, I reckon. It's uh, an all-round good view. Unfortunately, I don't have one of them. You'll have to go to uh, Hippodrome's channel for uh, all of that sort of fun stuff. Okay, let's see what this section uh, brings up. Looks like it might get a bit more technical, perhaps. So it feels more bumpy. Right, this looks slippery and horrible, but it's actually pretty compacted and, uh, yeah, very grippy actually, so. Now we're onto the tree roots. Ah, yes, yeah, so I think I remember reading about this. I think there was a section where it does get a bit rooty. I'm going to wait for Pez to clear those and I'm just going to go for it all in, all in one go. Oof, that looked like a nasty jolt upwards. Three. I think that's chalk. <laughs> I've lost my momentum now. <sighs> I was hoping just to. <laughs> Go straight for it, but then <laughs> and we broke the screen. <laughs> ah. Bugger. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's only lasted so far this day. <laughs> yeah. Right, I, I did twist my knee there, so I'll... Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, good. My, my knee does hurt, to be honest. I'm not gonna, not gonna lie. Um, I... I'll put that away in a minute. Yeah, I need a minute, I think. That's alright. Yeah, I should be fine. Okay. <laughs> That's right. It's in second, I think. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> oh, okay. Broke the screen, but nothing else. Twisted my knee, and that hurts a bit, so. We're going to get to the end of the lane and then I'm going home because uh, I don't want to be standing up on this, this knee, standing up on the pegs on this knee um, and risk either doing more damage or prolonging any uh, injury or anything. So I've definitely done, yeah, I've definitely twisted it bad, but I don't think it's anything worse than that. So we'll just have to see. Yeah, I, in hindsight, yeah, I should have just backed off and tried again rather than trying to continue on from where I was getting stuck. Oh, we're at the end already, that's good. <laughs> that's 
a little relief. Oh. Oh, yeah, good call. Oh, okay. Left. Okay. <laughs> That's all right, then. Uh, they appear to be, or... Is this one bent, or is it my imagination? It looks like this one's slightly bent. Yeah, I think it's coming a bit. Yeah. Oh, right. Okay, so they're going to carry on and I'm going to go home because, uh, yeah, I'm not sure I want to, uh, as much as I want to carry on, I don't want to do myself any worse injury with me and not having a full strength knee. That could become a problem later on and probably cause another crash. So, yeah, we're just going to take a steady ride home with what's left of my screen and, uh, yeah, recover. Oh, a bit gutted now. Like I said, I've been wanting to do that lane for ages, and <laughs> then that happens. And like I was saying just before that, I think I do remember Svengali saying there is a, a bit, there's a section of tree roots. It's not too bad when it's dry, <laughs> but in the wet, it's going to be a problem. Uh, obviously, it's not wet, not exactly wet, but it has been wet, so they're probably, there's probably still a bit damp and stuff. So, and obviously, being under the trees and stuff, it was going to be, uh, yeah, it wasn't going to be completely dry, so. Yeah, very unfortunate. Right, I assume this is the A27. I'm not actually seeing any signs. The beeline is telling me to go the other way, so... <laughs> Fuck knows what's uh, going on there. Oh, <laughs> fair enough. <laughs> See you later. Yeah, that's uh, that knee's starting to hurt a little bit. I need cruising pegs. So I can put the foot up front. There we go. <laughs> Mind if I do that? It might seize up in that position, and I'll be screwed. So uh, let's, yeah, let's keep it on the on the peg. Anyway, end of the video. <laughs> uh, if there's any update to add on at the end in the edit, I will. But uh, otherwise, yeah, just assume that CRF is broken. It will be fixed. No trouble. And the bar might be slightly bent. I think the uh, left side here is bent inwards just a little bit. So uh, and th these are the original bars. So and considering the uh, abuse they've been through over the years, they've done well. So uh, we'll get some Renthals put on. Well, hopefully, Peza, Hippo Drones, and Alan, I'm sure it was Alan, I do apologise if that is wrong. I'm, I'm very crap at names when I first meet somebody. If they can tell me their name, five seconds later, it's gone out of my head. Completely forgotten. I'm useless. Uh, I'm pretty sure it was Alan, uh, but if not, yeah. Whoever you are. <laughs> uh, hopefully they've gone off and uh, they'll have a good day with no further incidents. Anyway, thank you all for watching. I'll see you on the next one, whenever that may be.